Hi, I'm Robert Ruiz, here with Ruth Carter Hickman, and we're here to talk about her interview project, or her business, and how she started it from the ground up. How are you doing, Ruth? Hi, nice to meet you. All right, uh, my first question is, uh, how long has it took for you, develop, for you to develop your business? Well, I have been shooting since 2009, uh, photography and videography. Uh, I started with weddings, and I quickly learned that uh, I really didn't enjoy the stress of bridezillas and, you know, crazy families and family drama, but uh, the romance is, is a nice part. I did like shooting uh, surprise marriage proposals in New York. That was super fun. Yeah, was um, yeah New York is super fun. I also like portraits. I uh, shot a lot of senior portraits in Chattanooga, Tennessee. So I've traveled around a lot, and now I'm moving into commercial photography and shooting product for brands. Well, uh, well my second question is, uh, did you have any like past experience dealing with photography before you started your business? Uh, actually, no. My background was in TV video production and creating visual storytelling through you know TV, documentary, filmmaking. Uh, that's my expertise. So I love storytelling. And so to me, photography kind of, you know, merges into that whole, like, still telling a story visually, but freezing moments in time to capture that image. Um, my third question is, how hard was it, or what was the hardest challenge to start up your business? The hardest challenge was getting over the fear of being rejected. You know, as an artist, not everybody's gonna like your work, not everybody's going to, um, you know, you're not gonna vibe with everybody. But the cool thing about being an entrepreneur is you get to choose who you wanna work with and who you don't wanna work with. Uh -huh. So like if I have a client that contacts me, depending on their vision, maybe they want, you know, drone shots over the ocean, although I do have a drone now. Mm -hmm. But years ago I didn't. You know, so I couldn't take that job. Do you use that drone more on a regular basis when you shoot? Um, actually, I haven't. It's new. I just got it to Maverick Pro. It's, it's super cool. Mm -hmm. uh, Get some good. Yeah, good I'm practicing with it now. So I'm trying to, I'm always trying to reinvest in my business and reinvest in me and my craft and learning something new. So that is definitely something new, but I want to perfect it before I offer that as a package. No, uh, bringing up your drone, um, how much do you actually spend on all your equipment when you shoot? Because I know like having equipment is one of the most like hard things to take care of. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, in photography and videography, you're gonna spend thousands. I've invested probably about ten thousand dollars in equipment. Equipment alone? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Don't you have to spend money like when you travel and stuff like that too? Um, well, if you have a client that has you know, pay for you, which I have been fortunate to shoot in Thailand. I've been, you know, fortunate to shoot in Egypt. So I was paid um, to travel to those places oh, and didn't, didn't have didn't to pay. pay no, well, not at all. That just came with the with the shooting. Absolutely. So, wow. So yeah. You get, so, to, you get to travel places just because of your skills in photography. Yes. And, and my focus in travel photography and portraits. Well, um, so have you had... Have you ever had like any like bad moments that you recall with your equipment if you're like having to replace it? Uh, yes, and sometimes, I mean, with camera equipment, like the camera body itself, they always invent a new camera body. So the photography business within itself is a business. They always want you to buy this new product, buy this new product. So really, it's not about the body of the camera. It's more about the lenses. So you really want to invest in glass lens. Is that just makes your photos just just crystal clear and pop, and it's just um, you get a better raw image. Have you ever had like moments when you're dealing with a client and they don't want to work with you, or or, um, or they always no. like to participate because they have, they have to pay, they pay you. Um, yeah, I mean I've dealt with some difficult uh, clients before, but I mean more so difficult in a way where they don't feel comfortable in front of the camera, so I have to really talk them through, you know, pretending like the camera's not there. You and I know the camera's there, but mm -hmm. I'm focused on you because I know that um, it's not about the camera. And so that's what I try to communicate. That's why I try to get to know my clients so they can feel comfortable with me as a person and a human being. 
and I'll play like their favorite artist. I'll try to get to know who they are as a person so that I can bond with them and vibe with them so that their true beauty comes out in their images. Hmm. What was the main thing you wanted your clients to take away when you're finished with your shooting? I want each client to say, I love my photos. And so far, all of my clients have said, I love my photos. So when they say that, it really touches me because I really work hard to think about the location, the visual concept, what they're wearing. I pay attention to, to all the details so I can get the best image of them so that they can be happy with their reflection. If you were to give any advice to like a high school student on how to start their business in photography or any kind of business, what, would, what kind of advice would you give them? What I would say is research that job you know, field uh, and really find your niche. Because photography is so you know, wide. You have street photographers, you have you know, newborn photography. Know what it is that you really like to shoot. In a lot of businesses, it always branches off like that. There's always like parts of it. I would say you have to be passionate about it, and you're absolutely right. Like you can branch off to different things. And to me, I think what's best is not to get overwhelmed with so many different things that you could do. I think narrow it down, focus on one thing. So for me, what I'm going to focus on right now is commercial photography mm. and shooting products because I really want to work with luxury brands. And so I'm still shooting portraits of models with those brands. So I'm still staying true to my niche, but I'm also going to incorporate the travel aspect as well. Do you like the shooting your portraits more or you like the class? Uh, both. I like, I like working with people. People. And so I think that, that you have to find out what it is that, that you love to do and pursue that, you know, and whatever you're passionate about, sometimes I love to ask kids like, what would you do for free? I help. If anybody needs help, I'll help them. Like, I'll volunteer. Like, if I see a person struggling on the street that, they, that needs help, mm -hmm. or, like they're struggling to pick up something, I'll help them. Like, anything, like something like simple, mm -hmm. but I'll go, I'll go a long way yeah. like, to help somebody. The like, extra yeah. mile, and yeah. you know that's a quality of a lot of first responders. So maybe that's some something you would want to look into a career pursuing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like a firefighter, like my daddy. <laughs> He's right. retired now, but. Thank you very much for picking me yes. time. I appreciate it. This has been the interview project. Thank you very much. Peace out. Shout out to PHS TV.